<clears throat> well, this might be an abuse of power tools, but uh, <laughs> let's see if I can make this work. In case anybody's wondering what I just did, alternator pulley off of a Chevy. I think it's a five rib. Stuck a bolt and a nut, a couple washers on it, stuck it in the drill. Flat belt. It's got four ribs, but it works. It's kind of short, so I don't have to reach real far. Redneck lathe. Whoops. Lost the belt. <laughs> Threw a belt. JB weld to fill in some of the imperfections where the original hubcaps had cut away some of the coating on the wheels and caused it to rust and get a little pit marks in it and they're probably not going to be perfect but uh, what's a rat row without some imperfections I mean really Yeah, not too worried about these anyway. Not the only thing you're gonna see <laughs> is the outer rim of this thing. Just that much. Because the crick caps I got to cover them up take up the whole center. Gonna cover the valve stem and everything. But they'll look good. Fusion guys. Does a great job. Has the primer in it. Dries pretty quick. It's gloss red pepper. This is what I'm gonna go with. Because it's red. I just uh 
a little paper towel on here. And try to keep from scratching the wheel up as I rotate it. Perfections make it look like a true rat rod. These are going to look amazing when they're all together. Well, time for the fun part. Let's put some tires on some wheels. But first of all, we've got to get a new valve stem in there. So I picked these up, yep, from O'Reilly's. We're going to do a quick tour of how to get them in. Alright, this here is the tool I'm going to use. You can pick these up at the auto parts store. Uh, this one has a piece to pull the needle out. You can chase the threads inside and out. Let's see if I can get that to clear up. Oh, there we go. And the other end, you just basically screw this on and you pull the valve stem through the wheel. You have to stick it through the wheel before you screw it on though. It works better that way. I will show you. Now, you just hang on the wheel and get a tug, and it's in. Seated very nicely. Well, 
extra parameter popped off. Now we can unscrew it. And we have a valve stem. There are different variations of this tool. One of them's a stick basically with a, a, a little fulcrum point at the end of it. You still screw it on there, but instead of pulling on the cable, you actually put it against the edge of the rim and pry back. And that pulls it through. Those little uh, tire goo here. Thank you, Derek, over at Vice Grip Garage for the ingredients. We'll just slather some of this on, and we'll start getting this tire on this wheel. Nice. Might need a little gentle persuasion on this one. Time for a little bit of not so gentle persuasion. Give her a quick rinse.
Nice shiny wheels. And Uno Mas. One more. I already put one of the back tires on just to see how things were going to turn out. And it seemed like the back tires went on a whole lot easier than the front tires. So, let's see if this is par for the course. <laughs> Your back tires are only supposed to get 12 pounds. That's there. All right. Let's clean these bad boys up and put them on. about everybody else but I like to use a little bit of copper anises just to make sure stuff doesn't get so rusty I can't get it apart and it just takes a touch just a touch on the end of the threads it'll spread itself out it'll be there for a long time honestly sometimes it can be a nightmare because you get it all over you but it works great Just a touch. I'm not going to worry too much about how these lug nuts look. Because they're going to get covered up anyway. Now some of y'all are saying... Why are you threading them all the way in by hand? Because you have an impact. I like to seat these guys before I uh, put a load on. That way I don't tear up any threads. You get that lug nut flying real fast. When it hits the wheel, it stops and it bends things. I just want to snug them up when I get them on there. Thank you. 
time to drop it. Just enough time. Get a quick walk around with them on. And then I have to go to my mom's house for family day. Looks good. around here.